we are given a pulley block and wedge system all the surfaces are frictionless we need to find the acceleration of bigger wedge m so one thing we can observe is because of the tension force as well as the normal reaction the net force on m will be towards right so its acceleration is going to be towards right so let's assume that so let's say its acceleration is a now by constraint relation we can see that if it moves by a amount towards right so this string will be loosened by a amount so it will fall down by a amount so acceleration of small m relative to capital m is going to be a so in this case ar is equal to a that is the relation between the two accelerations and let's call that our equation 1 now let's observe the motion of small m with respect to capital m so in the reference frame of capital m the acceleration of small m will be towards left as ma not acceleration sorry the pseudo force on small m will be towards left and that is ma the other forces are tension upwards mg downwards and we have normal reaction also but uh, we don't need to bother about that because we only are going to write the forces in in direction parallel to the plane so with respect to the wedge the acceleration of small m is let's say ar towards down so now let's write the force equation on small m so downwards the force will be mg sin alpha plus ma cos alpha minus t is equal to m into ar and for the third equation let's consider the whole thing as a system because then we only need to deal with one force tension so we can write the tension on the system is m1a1 plus m2a2 so for wedge it will be m into a and for small m the force the acceleration towards right is ar relative to m and a along with the a so its next net acceleration is a towards right and ar downwards so towards right the acceleration is going to be a minus ar cos alpha so so net force on the system is equal to ma plus m into a minus ar cos alpha so this force is towards right so now we have our two equations sorry three equations and three variables a t and ar so solving that we can get the value of a which we want it